and uh, this is our third segment of the day and we have a very powerful amazing uh, lady in studio with us before i introduce her she goes by the name lorna by the way uh, we appreciate the people who keep sending their feedback our way and today we had a question on uh, for you guys on facebook and it went something like how i say ushinda kutuambia how to uh, how to earn uh, handsomely uh, from the comfort of your bed ushai jaribu uh, make up to 30,000 to 50,000 daily uh, working online and then you if you get to see the picture you'll get to know why I'm laughing so hard but uh, some of you have sent the feedback our way uh, so Dame H uh, <coughs> H town Kirima get to dana sema I agree and disagree but kuna zile legit na kuna zile uko a scam pia uh, ha si ati natetea yangu but a couple of months uh, nimejua how to uh, the difference between scams online jobs and and uh, jobs that are legit uh, thank you very much uh, Kirimi for sending your feedback our way uh, James chat anasema uh, all I need is money because I went to their meeting uh, last week and you paid 200 for uh, for the seminar. Afterward, you pay 5,500 for <laughs> opening, opening an account. Uh, they give you a form which you write names of 50 people, uh, which is their interest. Wow. That is a pyramid scheme right there. Byron Okwana Semba, not everything works for everyone the same way. This, uh, this, These are hustle schemes which have raised successful individuals so at the bottom line it's the effort one puts in to trans transform their life his or her life by achieving uh, their dreams i can't condemn the online initiatives but advise that everyone find uh, what suits you and do it diligently david kimani and some of those guys are trying to con innocent guys they try to beat around the bush by showing how uh, how you would become rich they normally say one has to pay 5500 for an account to be opened a domain as well <clears throat> per month one has to pay 1900 to keep the account active wow david kimani piano sama ndia well tuned in we'll be sampling more in a bit but Keep them coming, keep them coming our way. We appreciate the guys who send their feedback our way so much. Uh, so without much further ado, it's time to introduce uh, the main person herself, Lorna. Yes. Karibu sana. Thank you so much. All right, your camera is number four. Okay. Uh, brief intro of yourself. I give you the mm -hmm. liberty to introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. All your credentials listed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't have so many credentials, mm -hmm. but anyway. Uh, so my name is Lona Kanyuga, and mm -hmm. um, I work for a company called Sudi Limited. Mm -hmm. And in that company, I manage the Jijali program, which mm -hmm. is basically um, an online career and entrepreneurship skills training program for young people. So I'm very right. passionate about the youth and um, enabling them to, ha to get the skills they need to find employment and to start their businesses. All right, thank you very much. That's a very powerful and wonderful initiative right there. Uh, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I think you've gotten a taste of the question we have on mm -hmm. Facebook about these, uh, uh, mm -hmm. these people who tell you you can make up to thirty to 50,000 yes. kind of shillings a day from yeah. the comfort of mm -hmm. your home. Mm -hmm. Have you ever interacted with one of these mm -hmm. kind of people? So for myself, mm -hmm. I have not interacted mm -hmm. with um, You've those. had the stories, the urban legends? Yeah, I've had the urban legends. Actually, when I was in, in campus, there was um, a friend of mine who tried to recruit us into one of those things. Mm -hmm. And so we went for the meeting and basically we were told um, we'd be selling products, mm -hmm. some some products to people. But mm -hmm. then the catch was you have to buy the products first mm -hmm. and then you sell them. So for us, we were really not comfortable with that, so we chose uh -huh. not to do it. Um, however, later on, around 2016, mm -hmm. I was working from home. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, working as a freelancer online, mm -hmm. and I was actually like making legitimate money, just um, helping people with virtual assistant tasks, uh -huh. and I would work maybe two hours a day, uh -huh. uh, and I would get my money. Wow. Yeah. So working online is a reality. Yeah, it is a reality. But some of these things are scams. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I would say some of these things you have to be careful. You have mm -hmm. to understand what exactly is going into it, mm -hmm. and then also considering if it's something where you have to put in your own money, mm -hmm. you you do really have to consider is this something that I'll, I'm going to make money from or not? Mm -hmm. Because, for example, if you're going to work online on a legitimate platform, mm -hmm. um, your main investment will just be your time and mm -hmm. some money your for skill. internet, yeah, mm -hmm. and your skills. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think that's a much safer way because even if it doesn't work out. 
at least mm -hmm. we didn't have lost as much. Just a little bit of data here and there. Yes. <laughs> yes. That subscription. Yeah. Thank you very much for the insight. Since mm -hmm. you're a person who works uh, with people who are looking for jobs yes. and you have a lot of insight, mm -hmm. uh, let, let me take you back to uh, Jijali. Yes. The Jijali project. Mm -hmm. So the Jijali project is mm -hmm. under an umbrella. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the name of the organization? Mm -hmm. So the company is called Yusudi Limited. Mm -hmm. And basically what we do, our goal is to reduce unemployment. Mm -hmm. And how we do that is by equipping our people with the skills they need because mm -hmm. we realize there was a gap in terms of skills. Mm -hmm. So for example, someone who comes out of university does mm -hmm. not have the skills they need to apply for jobs. So for mm -hmm. example, they may not know how to structure their CV. They may mm -hmm. not know how to do interviews, yeah? Mm -hmm. And so you find that, that not having that skill is actually what is preventing them from mm -hmm. getting a job. And some of them might be really good at what they do. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. But then the thing is, because you can't explain to me uh -huh. what you can do, then you don't get the job. Uh -huh. Yeah, even no matter how good you are. Uh -huh. So you see, that's an additional skill that people may not realize that uh -huh. they need to have. Uh -huh. Then on the other hand, we have the ones who want to go into business, yeah? Uh -huh. So you might have a business idea that's really, really good, uh -huh. but then, you know, with business, there's the fun side, which is coming up with ideas and uh -huh. things like that. But then there's a the technical side where you the have reality, to... Yeah, reality. the reality. Uh -huh. You have to manage your finances, you have to do sales, you have to uh -huh. do marketing. Uh -huh. And so now that's where the gap that we see. Uh -huh. So with our program, we hope to fill, fill that gap uh -huh. by um, providing the support to young people that they need to actually go out and do what they want to do. All right. So uh, yes. this was lacking. Mm -hmm. Well, this is still lacking. It's still lacking. And then you guys came in to fill the gap. Yes. All right. So uh, my question is, how, mm -hmm. how is the training process like? Mm -hmm. So uh, for Jijali, it's fully online, mm -hmm. which means, again, we live in a digital age. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So all you need is, again, um, connection <coughs> to the internet, mm -hmm. preferably um, a device, or you can even just go to a cyber cafe. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, so you go online, you'll find our content there. So we mm -hmm. have reading materials and videos that you can go through mm -hmm. um, at your own time. Mm -hmm. And then for us, what we really emphasize on is the next step, which mm -hmm. is the practical task. Mm -hmm. So with everything that you learn online, you have to do something practical with it mm -hmm. because that's the only way you build a skill. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference between what we do and 844 because uh -huh. 844 is very you memorize you do the exam and then you really yes uh -huh. for us we really emphasize on you have to to do something in real life for you to actually see the benefits of what All you're right. doing so i'm yeah. um, kind of confused somewhere okay the course is online yes but i have to do something practical yes. who's going to monitor what i'm doing practically yeah and now am i going to do something practically mm -hmm. online mm -hmm. so i'll give you an example mm -hmm. so let's say you're in the business module yeah uh -huh. and let's say you've come up with a business idea you've decided um i want to maybe make this kind of clothes mm -hmm. yes so what we recommend is after you've come up with your business idea is that you need to go and talk to a few of your potential customers and get their feedback. So maybe I'm making scats. So I make a scat and now I need to go and talk to maybe like 20 of my target customers and mm -hmm. just ask them, what do you like about this scat? What don't you like about it? What would you recommend? To make sure that at the end of the day, I'm making something that my target customers actually want. So mm -hmm. that's how, that's the practical part, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we have mentorship. So mm -hmm. after you've done that, you've collected your, your research, you have some ideas on what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Now you have a virtual mentor online who once a week you have a call with them. Mm -hmm. So after you've done your research, you you you, uh, you upload what your findings online mm -hmm. and then now you have a call with your mentor and they discuss with you, okay, so what are some ideas you've gotten after talking to your customers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you learn? Um, what what was an interesting thing that you found out that your mm -hmm. customers want? And do you still want to make the scats or do you want to do something else based mm -hmm. on what you've learned from your customers. Mm -hmm. So you see that way it ends up being a more holistic program mm -hmm. that's very practical and then also it's very personalized because mm -hmm. it's based on what you are working on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, on demand, you can do it on demand. Yes. Whenever you're, you're in the space to do, whenever you are free to do it. Uh, the big question yeah. is, uh, mm -hmm. how much mm -hmm. damage <laughs> does it <laughs> cause to my pocket? Yes. Uh -huh. So, um, Fortunately for this year, the program is completely free. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't need to pay anything from the program. All you need to do is to go on our website and apply. Mm -hmm. And then um, we sort through the applications to mm -hmm. make sure that people who are getting into the program are those who really are really, really motivated. They mm -hmm. have some strong need for it. Mm -hmm. And then um, we select them and they get the program. All right. Yes. How long is the course? 
So it's running from September to November, so mm -hmm. it's three months long, mm -hmm. but then it's part time. So we recommend you put aside five to ten hours a week mm -hmm. um, to go through the content, to do the practical tasks, to do the mentorship. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, you can do it whenever you're comfortable. Wow. Yeah. Is there a certification after all this? Yeah. Do you, you get uh, yes. like certified? Uh, yes, you do get a certificate. So mm -hmm. for the career module, you get a certificate. For the business module, you get a certificate. Mm -hmm. And while you do get a certificate, for us, we, in our opinion, the benefit is not even the certificate. Mm -hmm. The real benefit is the skills you have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the for process. example, you go through the program and now you're able to say, wow, I'm finally hearing back from interviewers mm -hmm. or I finally figured out what was wrong with my business mm -hmm. and now it's back on track. So mm -hmm. you see in that aspect that what you've gained is even, in our opinion, is even more important than the certificate, mm -hmm. although we still do provide that. Since the groundbreaking, how many yeah. students or how many graduates have passed mm -hmm. through your, your, your mm -hmm. system? So we've had about um, 400 mm -hmm. trainees to go through the program and out of the 400, 83% um, of them have been mm -hmm. able to see growth in their career or business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Growth in career or business? Yeah. So they get responses from the employers mm -hmm. and uh, they also <coughs> They also like know how to handle themselves at interviews. Yeah, it, it's 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 not only even the interview part. Mm -hmm. Like the, for example, you also get to figure out um, what opportunities are out there because mm -hmm. we have people coming out of school. You did this degree, mm -hmm. but you don't really want to pursue that. Mm -hmm. So then you're wondering, okay, so what do I do now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the the good thing is we live in an age where you don't need to do what <coughs> you studied in your degree yeah like uh -huh. i have a background in economics uh -huh. um we have people in our team who have degrees in biochemistry uh -huh. and law and all of that uh -huh. and yet they're doing something completely different uh -huh. yeah so it's more about finding out okay so what are my interests and uh -huh. what are my skills and uh -huh. then what gaps do i have and uh -huh. how can i fill those gaps yeah uh -huh. you also learn about um how do i once i get my first job how uh -huh. do i make it a success so uh -huh. what are the things i need to do to make sure that the first job leads me to my next great opportunity and I keep building my career so right. it's not just about just finding the job it's the entire career process right. and the same for business it's not just about coming up with your idea it's about managing your business it's about learning how to build a long-term sustainable business mm -hmm. so we look at it from a more holistic aspect all right yeah you have access to the back end of the website myself yeah um, right now yeah uh, like whenever as, as a manager, like you can yeah. tell me mm -hmm. uh, s uh, s simple stats like mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to mm -hmm. people who are trying to join the program, mm -hmm. uh, are they mostly mm -hmm. entrepreneurs or guys mm -hmm. who want to uh, be absorbed into the job market? Yeah, so actually, interestingly, um, more of our applications go for entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Although in previous programs, um, we found out that people apply for entrepreneurship because they feel like they have no other option. <laughs> so it's like I've tried to apply for jobs mm -hmm. and now the only other thing is to go into business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when they find out that there are some things you can do to help yourself get a job, mm -hmm. then they switch to. Right. the career in modules the yeah this is something you've seen yeah it's something that you've actually seen mm -hmm. so um we do have a higher rate of entrepreneurship um applications but it also could be because for some people it's like this is my last resort mm -hmm. yeah but on the other hand we do have people who really want such businesses already have their own businesses and they mm -hmm. just want to improve them all right critics will ask or see yeah uh Yes, well, you're trying to help us uh, bridge the mm -hmm. gap between the, the employer mm -hmm. and uh, the, uh, the, the, the prospective or yeah. the potential employee. Mm -hmm. But critics will ask, uh, if there are no jobs, mm -hmm. jobs are not there, mm -hmm. how is this training going to help? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the thing. People say jobs are not there, mm -hmm. but that may not be necessarily the truth. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Because for Yusudi, what you found out is that we have graduates coming out who have a specific set of skills. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, employers on the other side saying, we can't hire these graduates because they don't have the skills that we need. Mm -hmm. You understand? So basically, the challenge is that our education system is not adequately preparing us for mm -hmm. the jobs that are there right now. Mm -hmm. So for example, you have this degree, but um, the person who is interviewing you is seeing this person doesn't have any communication skills mm -hmm. um, they don't know how to work in a team they, mm -hmm. they're not proactive or they don't have self-motivation um, they don't their critical thinking skills are lacking yeah mm -hmm. so you see the the skills that you need to in the workplace are actually missing mm -hmm. so um, the thing is even on our side we've had places times when we've had to hire people mm -hmm. and I would say 
from the applications that we get, maybe if you get, let's say, um, 50 applications, mm -hmm. out of the 50, if it's for an entry-level job, out of the 50, maybe five would be eligible for the role because mm -hmm. the rest of the 45, the applications are just not good enough. Mm -hmm. So you, you see the issue is not that there are no jobs, that, that people don't know how to apply for the jobs mm -hmm. or people don't know how to talk about the skills and what they can do mm -hmm. when it comes to the interview situation. Because at the end of the day, your degree is not enough. Mm -hmm. You need to have skills and you need to also have the right attitude, the right mindset mm -hmm. um, to enable you to get the job. And I feel like that's what we are not telling young people when they're in university. We're telling them your degree is enough, but that's not true. All right. Uh, there's an issue that arises when, uh, when it comes to matters of employment. Mm -hmm. Discrimination. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Is this something that you're teaching people to mm -hmm. deal with as well? Because mm -hmm. it's something you're bound to face when mm -hmm. it comes to, to being employed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what kind of discrimination? All right. Uh, there's uh, racial discrimination. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Women have been mm -hmm. uh, discriminated for mm -hmm. being pregnant. Even. Mm -hmm. uh, they've missed uh, job opportunities because mm -hmm. they're pregnant. Some have missed job opportunities because mm -hmm. they're thick. Yeah. or bigger yeah. in size. Mm. Uh, so all these things happen in, in the mm. workplace mm -hmm. and uh, you need to be prepared for this as well. Is this something that you've seen first before I, <laughs> I plant it? <laughs> uh, so for myself, luckily I haven't experienced mm -hmm. it, um, but I have met um, people who said, there's actually a girl who came and told me, I went for an interview mm -hmm. and I was told, while well, you have the skills, we can't, we can't take you because you're too young. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I mean, I can do the job. Mm -hmm. What does my age have to do with it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think because they are looking at her, you're just a young girl. Like, uh -huh. yeah. So you see, people do face those kind of situations. Uh -huh. Yeah. And unfortunately, there are companies um, that have a specific way of thinking that does mm -hmm. not really align to your values. Mm -hmm. So what we... Um, what you recommend is you should also, as you're, as you're searching for a job, mm -hmm. also find a workplace where you, you'll feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Because if you do take that job and you're constantly facing um, um, harassment or uh. you're constantly feeling um, very uncomfortable mm -hmm. in your daily workplace, then that's not a place that you want to be because you spend most of your time in the workplace. So mm -hmm. imagine majority of your time you're miserable mm -hmm. yeah that can even lead to mental health issues beggars can not be choosers though. They, that's that's what people say but mm -hmm. um at, at the end of the day you 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 can decide to make a choice about mm -hmm. it yeah because it's your life at the yeah, end of the day because it's your life at the end of the mm -hmm. day and you know like some things are really not worth it mm -hmm. if if you're every day you're facing sexual harassment mm -hmm. um at the workplace mm -hmm. and or ageism yeah or oh. ageism or you know something that's really breaking you down mm -hmm. It's, it's really not worth, it's not worth it, it at the end of the day. It might be tough, but it, it may be better to just go back to the drawing board. And also on the, on the, on the part you're talking about the lack of opportunities, mm -hmm. I feel that also more people should be open to working in smaller companies because mm -hmm. people have this dream of, oh, I want to work in Safaricom, in Deloitte, in, in these big name companies. Mm -hmm. But there are actually a lot of smaller companies that mm -hmm. are looking for people. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I would recommend like be more open with your search, mm -hmm. like be more flexible with what you're trying mm -hmm. to look for, and you can actually get some really interesting opportunities out and there. And experience in the process. Yes. All right. Please remind them how they can get to find you guys online. Yes. <laughs> your camera is number four. Yeah. Uh, if I want to mm -hmm. to, to subscribe mm -hmm. or enroll for the for the program, mm -hmm. uh, how what is the first step? Yeah. So if you Google us, um, so the program is called Jijali, J-I-J-A-L-I. -I. So if you search for that, the first result that will come up is our web page. So on our web page, you can find more information about the program as well as the application form. So just click on the link to apply and then we'll take it from there. And also if you have any questions, you can contact us through the website. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'd like to sample some feedback from the viewers. Uh, they keep coming and thank you very much for sending them our way. So I'd like to remind you the question. Have you ever uh, interacted with these guys who tell you you can make 30 to 50,000 <laughs> on a daily uh, <laughs> at the comfort of your bed? So Sophie Ru says those are lavish. I doubt cover. <laughs> cover, cover. They bore me uh, to the fullest. Uh, Hes mo Kenya na sema au ni labish matuta bure kabisa oviero adi kiga na sema ai nefa Benjamin yone daka jore na sema to know that uh, know that that is a scam look at the Photoshop in the picture so the guy in the picture is next to a 
very expensive car but it's photoshop keep them coming our way we appreciate you so much mm -hmm. and we'd love to sample them so your vision your mm -hmm. mission is eradication mm -hmm. of unemployment yes among us the youth. yeah so we have two visions actually mm -hmm. there's the side of eradicating unemployment mm -hmm. but also the the aspect of changing education mm -hmm. because when people hear the word education they feel like it's like something negative because mm -hmm. they're thinking about homework and weight. sitting they're in class about the yeah weight, the there's load. a weight mm -hmm. yeah you're, you're sitting in class you're listening to a lecture you're not interested in mm -hmm. you know it's just it's 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 something a lot of us have a negative correlation with mm -hmm. yeah but you think uh, if you think about it education is the key to so many things like mm -hmm. if you teach yourself something you're, you're like opening up opportunities mm -hmm. for yourself so we want to change how education is delivered because if you think about it we are an education company mm -hmm. but our focus is how can you make education practical and relevant for you mm -hmm. so by relevant it means that you learn what you need mm -hmm. so instead of you going through everything regardless of your three interests, sciences exactly <laughs> you focus six on what languages you need. Mm -hmm. all right uh -huh. yeah focus so, on what interests you the most exactly uh -huh. and then to make that as practical as possible because um, it's not really learning if it's just something you're memorizing you mm -hmm. have the theoretical knowledge but mm -hmm. the practical knowledge is not there mm -hmm. so what happens is now like when you look at now our graduates that's why they don't have the skills we mm -hmm. have a lot of knowledge mm -hmm. we can tell you random things about <laughs> mitochondria here yeah? but then the skills are what are lacking uh -huh. so that's that's our long-term goal to mm -hmm. change how education is viewed and how it's delivered uh -huh. yeah change how education is viewed mm -hmm. and how education is delivered yes so the competency based uh, curriculum. curriculum have you heard about this yes I are have. you pro it or against it um, in some aspects, I'm pro uh -huh. because it it does signal at least some change mm -hmm. because it's a step in the right direction. It's a step in the right direction mm -hmm. because we've been in a need for, we've been needing change in our education system for a really long time. Mm -hmm. So it's good that there's actually some some steps to changing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I'm kind of reserved because I want to see whether it'll actually come out the way it's been planned because mm -hmm. theoretically it sounds quite good mm -hmm. um so for me i'm waiting to see what what the outcome will be mm -hmm. but then at the same time we also have to consider that despite the cbc mm -hmm. every every year there's still the remaining it for four graduates who mm -hmm. are coming out of our university every year mm -hmm. and so this they is a long term thing. Needs. yeah so this is a long term thing so we should focus on the problem we have as it now in particular well right. i uh, mean some focus on the now like us <laughs> others focus on the future all right so yeah. we work together in unison to yes. build a better future yes all right so uh, another question that is coming our way mm -hmm. from social media is mm -hmm. uh you cover all fields mm -hmm. so with the with the career module yeah mm -hmm. it's very open because the career module is more about um it's not about how to get into a specific field yeah mm -hmm. it's like for example um i did um biochemistry mm -hmm. and now i want to go into digital marketing mm -hmm. which is totally possible yeah mm -hmm. so now it's helping you figure out okay so how do i get started in digital marketing what's mm -hmm. my specific interest what are my strengths what can i go into mm -hmm. so maybe now you find out that you want to do content writing yeah mm -hmm. so what do you need to do to start as a content writer mm -hmm. yeah so we have a session on what we call self-learning mm -hmm. because we believe self-learning is one of the skills that everyone needs to have in this day and age because things are changing very quickly mm -hmm. so the ability to learn things fast yeah mm -hmm. so now you need to teach yourself how to get how to do th that job yeah mm -hmm. so how do i become a content writer what courses can i take how can i practice mm -hmm. how can i get better and how can i apply my learning yeah how can i get some experience that will help me to apply for jobs mm -hmm. and by experience we don't mean a job yeah experience could be um you're my friend you you you're starting a business mm -hmm. yeah and i tell you let me do some social media management for you mm -hmm. for six mm -hmm. months for free yeah and then I have some results at the end of the six months. That's experience, mm -hmm. yeah? And that's something I can now use to look for jobs, mm -hmm. okay? So that's what I mean by it's not specific to what you want. It's more, I mean, it's not specific to a, specific, to a particular industry. It's more about what do you want and how can we help you to get there, mm -hmm. yeah? 
All right, thank you very much for coming and thank you very much for the insight and yeah. thank you very much for what you're doing for the youth at large. And uh, you were going to give them a message mm -hmm. uh, to those who complain to us, Akuna Kazi, Akuna Kazi. We yeah. get a lot of messages mm -hmm. of people telling us they'd like to work with us mm -hmm. and there's only so much or yeah. a number of positions we can offer. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be talking to them. Mm -hmm. uh, but before you talk to them, mm -hmm. what are some of these uh, weirdest jobs you've ever interacted with mm -hmm. uh, that people... Uh, and mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. and they do them from home mm -hmm. yeah yeah so like I said for me I was a freelancer so mm -hmm. I was a virtual assistant mm -hmm. so basically how it works is um, there are companies or people that have so much going on that they can't do the admin tasks so admin mm -hmm. tasks mean like booking meetings on calendar it could be emailing mm -hmm. customers it could be um, doing some basic graphic design yeah so that's what i was doing and mm -hmm. i wasn't earning 30 to 50k a day mm -hmm. uh, but i was actually making a comfortable <laughs> yeah oh, I, was, I, like I, was, that. I was making enough money yeah but nowadays like if you if you just search online mm -hmm. um there are so many jobs that are in demand yeah something like um, writing mm -hmm. is always in demand. I don't mean academic writing, I mm -hmm. mean the legal version of writing. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. say you're writing blogs for someone, you're mm -hmm. writing articles. Copywriting yeah, as well. Yeah, copywriting, mm -hmm. research, things like that. Mm -hmm. Tech is one area where there are so many online jobs because mm -hmm. for tech you actually don't have to come into the office. Mm -hmm. I can work on your website and mm -hmm. you can look at it from another country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we also have areas like even finance. Mm -hmm. There are some people who, I'm, maybe I start my own company and I want to hire an accountant mm -hmm. and I find out the accountant's on Online are cheaper than the face-to-face -face accountant, uh -huh. so I hire a, an accountant to do my finances for me online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's literally so so much. It's limitless. Yeah, it's from limitless. From accounts mm -hmm. uh, to mm -hmm. writing to the tech parts like graphic, tech, uh, programming, um, web, web design, uh -huh. to um, the creative side, so like content writing, mm -hmm. um, even even creating like, um, what is it, like materials for people's social media. So uh, today if yeah. you met somebody who studied graphic design mm -hmm. and they told you, I don't have a job, yeah. it will be a sad story. It will be a sad story because uh -huh. you, you can actually make money online, like sites like Upwork, there's uh -huh. Fiverr, there's Freelancer, uh -huh. you can actually start your own side hustle there mm -hmm. um doing your graphic design work yeah but the thing is I, there's a caveat though <laughs> thank you very much you've okay. come to the end of this and yeah. you seem to be having a lot of information how yeah. can they find you online so you can uh, you can discuss this over yeah. over the dms or the comment sections okay so um you can actually reach us through our social media so mm -hmm. on instagram we are yusudi underscore africa mm -hmm. and on facebook we are yusudi limited yeah mm -hmm. yes uh yeah Thank you very much for coming. We mm -hmm. appreciate you, Lorna. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the best. Your personal social media? Oh, my personal. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'm not that active on social media. <laughs> you don't but... want followers. This is hey. your time to shine. Yeah, right? unfortunately, is... I'm not that active on <laughs> uh -huh. social media. But, but you can get at least like 100 followers yeah. from now. Yes, just yeah. tell them your social media. Um, so on Facebook, it's just Lorna Kanyuga. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much, Lona. We've come to the end of this. And if you didn't know, yeah, now you know. Alex mm -hmm. is coming up next with another interview. You don't want to miss it. Don't go nowhere. Mm -hmm. That was okay, good. <laughs> <laughs>